Hi, this is Tom Onda. Uh, I'm the guitar player from Thank You Scientist, uh, and I'm here to show you guys the TWA Triskelion Harmonic Energizer. This is a really, really cool pedal that's based off of uh, a SysTech Harmonic Energizer, which is kind of a, a legendary old pedal uh, used by greats such as Frank Zappa. Um, the best way I can describe this pedal to those uninitiated is imagine the sound that you get from a wah fully engaged, that type of compression, that type of sustain, and also that type of um, control of feedback and the harmonic overtones that kind of ring out over a note. So it really, really creates like a beautiful bed of noise uh, and just juice over what you're playing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few ways that I might use this pedal. Um, but again, there are a myriad number of ways you can use this, uh, and I think you guys will really dig it. So what's cool about this pedal is that you can find like a sweet spot on your volume pedal like right before you go into like feedback land, um, which I think is really cool. So I'm going to show you that right now. Um. So when I dial that back and I find that like sweet spot, you have a lot of control over when you want to kind of engage the feedback and when you don't, which is kind of a nifty little trick. Show you a little bit of how uh, it affects the sustain. Um, pop it off. And then with with the pedal on. So you have a nice long kind of trail. Uh, it's really great for kind of textural playing, I think. Another cool application of this pedal, uh, if you set the gain settings a little lower, um, you could sort of simulate like uh, if you have a two-channel amp and you want to kind of have like an in-between stage on the amp um, and get a little bit more breakup um, and also get it to really pop out of the mix. Um, you know, I've kind of used this in the past to kind of get that uh, sort of vibe. So if I'm on a... without the pedal engaged, um, and then with the pedal. So I found that this is really great for like really funky comping too. Like if you want to get like a really janky sort of dirty sound that kind of pops out a little bit more, um, a lot of times live it's hard to get that to come out over the band. Um, without being like really ice picky, but I found that when you can use this pedal to adjust your EQ curve and just get it to like pop out enough. So I'm gonna show you on this amp, which is a very clean, you know, fendery sort of kind of crystal clear. And then if I wanna get that to pop a little bit more, So another cool thing you could do with this pedal, uh, you know, uh, you can get this sort of like square wavy kind of strobing effect just by engaging and disengaging the pedal. 
Um, and uh, requires a little bit of fleet footwork, but it, it does pay off because it's a really cool kind of thing. And you don't have to rely on like a tap tempo to adjust with a live drummer who might not hear you, right? So you can just play along with them. And it sounds something like this. So because you have so much control over um, the feedback, um, you could do some really interesting things using the volume knob uh, and this pedal in conjunction. So right now I have the energy set all the way up. Uh, I have the cue around 12 o'clock and uh, the amplitude about uh, around 3 o'clock. So, um, and again, this is just using your volume knob on a clean setting uh, using the uh, Triskelion harmonic energizer. So uh, right now I have an expression pedal hooked up to the, to the harmonic energizer and um, this offers a lot of control possibilities. Uh, basically the uh, expression pedal is set to control the variant mass of the pedal. So uh, you're going to hear as I rock the expression pedal back and forth, you're going to hear more of that feedback kind of chiming in, more of that kind of lush sort of sustaining sound. Thank <laughs> you. 